Hi, you're probably worried you won't be able to perform the ear exam. Don't worry, it is as simple as the other one. You won't hurt anyone either. I will show you everything in a moment and you will see how quickly you can become a home diagnostician. To properly perform an ear exam, first prepare your HIGO device. Attach the otoscope module. Next, attach a disposable speculum. Place it on the end of the otoscope and lock it into place, just like a HIGO module. A properly positioned speculum should not move or fall off the otoscope module. For children up to four, we use a two and a half millimeter speculum, while for older children and adults, we use a four millimeter speculum. Due to the diagnostic value of the data, we should not use the small specular for people over four years of age. Please sit up straight. Remember that you must have enough space and good access to the patient. Next, slightly tilt the patient's head to the side. This will make the exam more comfortable for both the patient and the examiner. Hold HIGO in a horizontal position, just like chopsticks, with your thumb on the top and the rest of your fingers on the bottom of the device. The grip optimizes the positioning of the speculum during the examination, which in turn gives the examiner more opportunity to maneuver inside the ear canal. In addition, the fingers on the underside of the device can comfortably rest on the patient's head and create a natural distance that increases the safety of the examination while protecting against any unwanted movements. The hand in which you hold the HIGO changes depending on whether you are examining the right or left ear. If you are examining the right ear, you hold the device in your right hand, while the opposite is true for the other side. Before starting the exam, press the start button. It is very important to do this at this point and not during the examination itself, when it may cause discomfort for the patient. Then, with the other hand, firmly pull back the patient's oracle. This does not hurt and significantly increases the comfort of the examined person. The ear should be kept pulled back until the end of the exam. Make sure you do not release it while the speculum is inside the ear. On a well done examination, you can see the eardrum with a light reflex, umbo and the handle of the malleolus. This is what a correctly performed ear exam looks like. Keep in mind these few points to ensure you correctly perform the ear exam. Make sure you attach the correct size of the speculum. Grasp the ear by the oracle and pull it gently but firmly back and down. Insert the otoscope while holding the device, horizontally. Slowly move the device until you visualize the tympanic membrane. Thanks! Now you know how easy it is to examine the inside of the ear. Make sure to check out our other exam guides. See you soon!